Get your fingers out of the way. <laughs> oh, buddy. The dark inside me. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to The Dark Inside Me. It's a game apparent with, with like, uh, nudity and sexual stuff and gore and violence and all that sounds really fun to me. It's a point-and-click game, which I don't really get into, but, uh, I got, I got hooked just by the description of it for it having naughty themes and things like that. Things that you shouldn't play around your children, so I have to play this shit at one in the morning. <laughs> but that's gonna be just yeah. fine. New game! Long game. game. Game credits? Quit. That's interesting. They got uh, a voice over. And I can make a cacophony of voices. <laughs> that's funny. Alright, new game. We'll start it up. Chapter 1, Her Twisted Pleasures. Ooh. Black Sins of the Corrupted Lives? Alright then. Sure, why not? We all got that kind of shit this going on. This should be the flat that Lana told me. This should be the flat that Lana told me. Who's Lana? Why are we here? Oh, 13? That's ominous. Yeah. Number 13. Number 13. Number 13. Alright. Fucking Sesame Street type shit. Here's the key. Hello there! I'm in here now. It's too dark here. It's too, it's too dark, dark here. I can't go. I got Looks a light like switch. A switch. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Honey, I'm home. Alright, so can't play with the shoes or the newspaper because we ain't a fucking dog. That's the dog's job. Bring me my shoes and my newspaper. Anger. Anger. Broken anger. Broken anger. Can we take some clothes? Anger. I'm gonna change out of my Columbine trench coat. <laughs> uh, there's not much there. Bag. How about the bag? Bag. 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 Open the fucking bag, dude. What's wrong with you? I don't understand. Alright, well, doesn't seem to be anything. There's more shoes. Damn. Somebody likes shoes. Let me tell you. What? Something's killing me? I didn't hear what you said. Weird Three photos. Dancing woman. Three dancing Picture woman. Of sad lady. Picture of a two sad lady. Weird photos. Weird Some photos. Some kind of a meeting photo. Some kind of a meeting photo. Yeah, I, I generally think in point and click games they should add a little bit of atmosphere with the, uh, the voiceover text and stuff like that. Right now he's just kind of pointing out what it is. Old bird cage. Old bird Mirror. cage. Mirror. All right then. Cool, cool. Some bread with jam. Bread with jam? Like a broken plate. Broken Old plate. dusty books. Old dusty books? And that's about it, right? Okay. Very well. Oh! <laughs> Something's going on here. Um, maybe I'll just scoot past. Excuse me. There it is, your first glimpse of some titty. A little bit of side boob for the the fans of side boob. Alright, so we can't go past there quite yet. There's something... Where the fuck are you going, dude? There's something we gotta do in this room. I'm not really sure. Bird cage. Bird cage. Oh, the drawer has something. Drawer. Yeah, open the drawer. There's something in there? What is this? Ball of full. Ball of fur? Alright, give me that. Gives me that. I needs it. So, uh... What do I do with the ball of fur? Bring up the inventory again. Ball of fur. Ball of full. No way. Slam it in the books. I can't. Put it on the bread with jam. I cunt. Don't talk about yourself that way, dude. You're not such a cunt. <laughs> now that's a cunt. Um... Oh, look. White knight stand. White nightstand. I can see some stuff around here. Maybe I'm supposed to be looking in this room. Candle. Candle. Old um, mirror. Old mirror. White nightstand. And another white nightstand. What's this? Leg of the dressing table. Leg of the dressing if table. If I can move it, then she won't see me. If I can move it, then she won't see me. Can I? I throw a ball of fur at it. Oh, it's useless. Yeah, it is useless. The fucking that fur is not gonna have enough velocity. To move the table. So, what the fuck? 
Can I use the fur on, like, uh, one of them hangers or something? I don't really know how that's gonna help, but maybe, maybe it'll do something? I don't know. Gotta try it. Hello? Hanger. Hanger. Do it. Hmm. I can't. I can't. Well, that's not doing what I wanted to do either. Shit, man. There's gotta be an answer somewhere. Some of the stuff is like really small, what you're supposed to find, so like... I should be mousing around the edge of like, all this stuff. Just to see if I can find something. Old bird cage. Old bird cage. I don't think the old bird cage is for anything. Just put the inventory away, just in case they're hiding something down this way. What's that right there? Newspaper? I think it's just another newspaper. Alright then. Cool, cool. Excellent. Um... How about under the clock? Doesn't seem so. Oh, this. Knife. Knife. It's not just an old plate. Somebody was using a fucking knife to uh, butter up their jam. Some bread with jam. Interesting. So, yeah. It's kind of a... Uh, just, just chance that I would find something like that. It is so small. They don't really give one a lot of direction about what to do. Let's go back to this humping lady. And, uh, we knife her? No, it's useless. Knife her real good. Throw it at the candle, knock that shit over. Uh, leg of the dresser, cut it off. Yeah. I can't. Nope. That's not working. How about the, uh, the broken hanger? It's the only thing that was really halfway different. Go on, get over there. He doesn't want to go over there now. Oh, there. Alright. I can't take it out with my hands. I can't take it out in my hands. You can use the knife, yeah? Cool! Butter knife! Slide the tip in like a gentleman. Alright. So now we've got a hook. What do I do with the hook? Hook the leg of the dresser. Probably. I think that's all that there is to get over here, but you never really know until you progress a little further. So, you can look at the weird photos again, but I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna go over here. See this fucking demon. Demon titties. Um, okay. Hook the dresser. Hook no, it. it's useless. Shoot it and loop it. If I can move it, then she won't see me. If I can use, move it, then she won't see me. You can put the lights out or some shit. That's a good idea. Ah, oh, crap. What am I supposed to do here? I don't know, man. I paced back and forth through this apartment like three fucking times. And I really don't see anything else that uh, I'm able to use or pick up or do anything with. So, yeah. I'm a little bit at a loss. Maybe it's like other point and clicks. Maybe could combine some shit. Hey. There you go. So, ball of fur and the hook is gonna make, uh... I don't know what the fuck that is. I guess like a grappling hook. Could grappling hook the leg of the nightstand? That's a plan. It's a better plan than anything I've had in the past five minutes. Do it! Whoa! This guy's like a fucking telepath or something. Can't you do that, man? Alright, so now we good, right? She's not gonna kill us? All right, just just enjoy yourself over there. Am I really guilty? Am I really guilty? Am I feeling guilty? Old radio. Old radio. Newspapers. Newspapers. Looks like a bed cover. Okay, I can grab the bed cover. That's something. Hmm. Doesn't seem like I can progress any further down this hallway. So what I'm supposed to do is right here. Pictures are not. It might be a fuse box. Fuse bags. Let's get the fuse bags. Um... Vase full of water. Vase full of I water. I don't want these roses. I don't want these I roses? I want these roses. Roses. So, like, yeah, grab the roses. Just throw them on the floor. There you go. Now we're cooking with gas. Vase full of water. I'll keep this in my pocket. <laughs> Surely nothing bad will go wrong, right? Maybe? Alright, so, fuse box, right? Oh, now I'm being watched. Who's watching? It's locked. 
it's locked. Okay. Uh, butter knife. Butter knife that should open. Yeah. Every time, butter knife. Could have gone for the key too, but you know, butter knife seems to be a bit more useful. So now we're going to uh, no way. Burn it out with the blanket. Throw the water on it. Duh. No shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. Um. She will see me if I will go there. She will see me if I will go there. Okay. Uh, wooden table. Wooden, wooden table. table. Wooden Hide table. Under. Hide under the wooden table. Something bad's happening. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> you made me jump pretty good. Alright, so combine some things with the wooden table. Right? Yeah, blanket. I should have thought of that shit. Alright. Crawl your happy ass under there. Creepy lady. Alright, go. I can go while she's here. Can't go while she's here. Corridor. Corridor. Oh god, fuck! This game, I tell you what. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This is not a good game. Alright. Crawl in there. Um, throw the base down the corridor. I can't. Grapple hook her fucking legs. Come on, do something. She's gonna jump scare me again, bro. Butter knife her? Every fucking time. <sighs> My controller's Wooden rumbling table. also. This is not helpful. Alright. Get under there. <laughs> this fucking guy. Alright. Um, we can't knife her, right? Stab her in the Achilles tendon and just we're done. Alright. Follow of fur. Follow of fur. Down the corridor. Go ahead. <laughs> Didn't get me that time. Wooden Don't worry. Table. So it seems like I'm stuck. I get under the fucking table and I'm not sure what's supposed to happen. Um. I mean, I think the glass down the corridor would be the best thing. They wouldn't let me see the corridor for no reason at all, would they? I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just waiting for my inevitable death at this point. <laughs> Alright, one more go. This is the most frustrating part because it's so, like, uh, so tiny. Such a tiny window of time to do a thing. Alright, throw the furball at her. Corridor. Yeah? Corridor. Hey, there we go. Now I can go to bedroom. Now I can go to bedroom. Let us go to bedroom. I really think the, the base would have made a bit more sense, but, alright. Crawl like a baby into the bedroom. Cool. So, I don't think she's gonna jump scare me here. What is this? Is that a fucking handkerchief or something? Some panties? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> he said what it was, but I didn't hear it. Alright, so let's uh, inspect our surroundings, shall we? Gas can. What's that? God damn it, where are you going? What the fuck is anything? Candle. Candle. Yeah, it should be like a, a bit more narrative. Like, the, the candle reminds me of such and such. You get to know the character a bit more, instead of him being lifeless like he is. Alright, so we picked up the gas can and some panties. Can we, uh, light this place on fire, or, or what's going on? I can't. I can't. I mean, you could, if you wanted to. Candles. Candles, plural. Candle. Candle? Candles. Candles. We're learning so much today, aren't we? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, man. I don't know. This game's kind of cool. Um, it did hook me in with its... with its themes, but yeah, playing the game itself... I mean, I'm a little biased, because fucking point and clicks. Who wants to play that shit? Uh, there's like a dresser here. Probably gonna climb in that shit if she comes back. Eh? Ah, oh, there's another part of the room. Sewing machine. Sewing machine. Coloring book. Ham sandwich. <laughs> oh god! Jesus Christ! 
Why do they have to do this every time? Should I open the curtain and get eaten by another demon or crawl out the window? Get out the fucking Old window. Old wooden window. Old wooden window. Fuck. Oh. It's sealed. It's stuck. We gotta butter no, knife it's it. It's useless. Come on, dude. Butter knife it. No way. No way. Throw the I gas can Throw the vase through no, it. No, it's useless. Uh, grappling hook out the window. No fucking, way. <laughs> fucking Batman powers. Alright. I guess there's nothing I can do over here. Let us exit post haste. What the fuck? Where am I supposed to be going? Very specific part of the screen you have to click on. I guess I should see what that hand's oh, about. Poor girl. Aw, oh, poor girl. She got hot though, right? Yeah, a little. <laughs> Bad luck. Bad luck. Uh, poor girl. <laughs> hey, what up? You alright? Who are you? What happened? Oh shit. What happened to you? Who are you? I am Clementine. Please help me. Save me from here. I don't want to die. She don't want to die. Voice acting leaves a lot to be desired, man. <laughs> I think this is the same girl from, from the menu or something like that. Alright, just, just be easy. Everything will be. What will be will be. If you die in the cage, then, then that's how it is. Don't worry. Hey, easy, easy, sweetheart. Everything will be fine. No. Oh, fine. Nothing will be fine. She killed her. Ate my mommy from the, my eyes. Don't know where is my daddy. She will also eat me. Please help me. Are you excluding articles from your sentences because you're panicked or because you don't speak English very well? Why are we speaking English in the first place? It should be just native language with some subtitles. And they could uh, pay me to do the subtitles. That would be great. Okay, so Clementine, I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on here either. I don't even know why I came to this apartment, but I'm totally going to save you. You have my words, but uh, talk is cheap. <laughs> so remember that. Listen, Clementine, I really don't know what's going on here, but I'll save you. That's what I you said. You have my word. Could you please take said. out this chance? I can't feel my neck anymore. I will die here. Oh. I kind of like you better in the chains. Just accept your fate. If you're coming out with me, you're staying in them. Uh, easy. Easy, sweetheart. No one gonna hurt you. I don't have any tools to break these chains. But if I can lock this cage, then she can't even touch you. You just need to wait me, okay? I will come with help and save you. You will also find my daddy, right? Uh... I'll be your daddy if you, if you want. I mean... Is that cool? <laughs> Is that cool? Nah, I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's safe. Don't worry. Uh, yes, yes, sweetheart. Don't worry about him. I'm sure he's safe. Okay, I will wait you. I will wait you. You wait me here, okay? Oh boy, this game's uh rough. This game's pretty rough, but yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it still, just because of the really dark themes, which I'm into. Alright, so what are we supposed to do? Candle, candle. We need to lock that padlock or something. Alright, I'm sure it's possible. How to do? Um, scan the room. Candles. Candles. Yep, got that. You have a chair. Oh, something on the bed. Hey! Oh, fuck. oh god. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead as fuck. Why? But why? Because that, that demon bitch killed him. I think I found Clementine's daddy. Dang out. I'm not sure if I know her. Not sure if I know her. She ripped our fucking guts out about four or five times. Uh, poor guy. Poor guy. But maybe he deserved this. <laughs> maybe he deserved this. Yeah, she was fucking the shit out of him while he's dead and stuff. He's got a rosary? Oh, maybe I can chop it off. An arm, maybe I can chop it off. <laughs> yeah, sure man. Why not? Butter knife that. I can't. Do it. Do it now. Oh, it's useless. Break the glass and then cut no his arm way. off. Nope. We can burn I him. Can't. Um we can heal oh, him. It's useless. Just yeah. Wrap him in the panties or even just Use it like smelling salts, rub it under his nose. Can I grappling hook that fucking no thing? 
an arm, maybe I can cut it off. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, that didn't yield many results, did it? Okay, that's that's the same shit. Um, oh, what's this? Item bar. Looks like it's broken. Looks like it's broken. Snatch that. I'm surprised the whole bed doesn't fall apart. <laughs> That's cool. Um, iron bar. So I can dip out the fucking window or what? That's my plan. Sorry, Clementine. I'm out. He's probably gonna be like, I can't go out. Yeah, of course. No, it's useless. It's not useless, dude. Fucking break the window. I mean, I don't know what you're gonna do next. Shove yourself through and get some cuts, but getting a few cuts is better than fucking dying. Dying to a demon bitch and then getting raped after you're dead, right? This game is fucking grimy, dude. <laughs> this is a dark subject matter, I'll tell you that. Um, Search the rest of the bed, under the dressers and shit. Chair. Ah, crap. Candles. Candles. Candles remind me of uh, my life, which will be snuffed out soon enough. Should I go out here? Can't go out there. What's this shit on the floor? Probably shit. Or blood. Or something. We'll go hang out with Clementine some more. Fine girl. She should not see him like that. Oh yeah, it is her dad then. I was just making a joke, but it actually is. <laughs> now I should find a way to lock the cage. I should find a way to lock the cage. Oh, I, I, I don't have any bright ideas. I could just use some thread from the sewing machine and tie it closed, right? It's only 9.40 and some shit like this is going down. Keep your kids inside, you know? If your kids aren't home by 6 o'clock, you need to fucking rethink that. They could get raped by a demon. <laughs> Killed and or raped by a demon. Alright. What am I supposed to do now? Um... Gas and rag. Hey, that's a start, isn't it? Alright, gas soaked rag and Molotov. Make a fucking Molotov and burn this place down, right? I don't know why I always wait to combine items until the last minute. Okay. We've made a torch of sorts. We can easily light this on a candle. Cool! And now, what do I do with this shit? Burn that guy? No way. No way. Let's do it. I do it. I'm not gonna tell nobody. I'd also uh, burn Clementine. But I'd feel sad. I feel super sad. She's just uh, a damsel in distress. She needs our help, damn it. Can I light her on fire, though? No, it's <laughs> useless. Can I weld the bars no shut? Lighting her on fire came before welding the bars shut with the fire. I can't. I cunt! Yeah, you are, aren't you? <laughs> An useless cunt. Alright, well, what, what, what? Nothing in these drawers. I just don't know. I just don't know where to go, what to do. Hmm. Anything in this dresser? I suppose not. Fuck, man. Don't understand. Maybe I need to, like, zoom in on this guy first, and then I'll be able to, to do whatever. Whatever I want. No, Burn his hand off. Yeah, it's useless. No way. God damn it. This shit, let me tell ya. Hmm. Ominous winds blowing. What am I supposed to do? Candles? Candles. candles. Light them candles. Hey, that's progress. And that's progress. Well, now this corner of the room's all lit up, but he's gonna walk over here. Is there something you want me to see here, boy? A heart-shaped pillow? That's what they are. It's not shit or blood or vomit. <laughs> it's a heart-shaped pillow. That's so nice. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Alright. What to do, what to do. There's nothing in this corner. What is this fucking box? Am I supposed to do something with the box or the cabinet? Machete. Oh, there. 
It might be Machete. useful. It might be useful. Yeah. I know how it's going to be useful. We can use it to get out the window. But first, I'm going to mutilate this guy. <laughs> Everything's normal. Just, just kick back. We're all right. Okay. Swing it right here. Ready? Go. Get your fingers out of the way. Yep. There we go. God damn it. <laughs> this game. Holy shit. He's getting through there. Alright. And the bone. Very nice. Now I can take the key. Now I can take the key. Oh, it's a key. Why did I think it was a rosary? <laughs> Probably wouldn't have been raped by a demon if it was uh, a rosary. But okay, look at that shit, man. That is graphic. I like that they just show it. In, in a lot of other games, games with less fucking balls, they'd be like, let's cut away. Yeah, you used the machete, now let's cut away and you just have the hand in your inventory. That's fine. But yeah, I, I hacked that dude's hand off. Everything's normal here. Don't worry. It's just what we do. So I can get this padlock done, or what? I can't. I need a key. I need a key. I have a fucking key. Why you tell me you can't, and then you do? Now Dick. I should find a way to lock the cage. Cage door. Now I should find a way to lock the cage. Alright, close the cage door. Fit the padlock no, on there. It's useless. It's not useless, dude. Just no do way. it. Come on! The fuck? I can't. Are you kidding me? Where am I supposed to- No, it's useless. Oh my god. No this is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Wait for it to light up. It's like Operation. Oh, it's useless. Operation Futility. Operation Enduring Freedom as we lock somebody in a cage. <laughs> That's ironic enough. I'd expect that from the US government. Okay, there. Now you're locked in there nice it's and tight. Locked. Now she's safe. She's safe. safe. Now I can you're leave safe, this fucking flat. Now I can leave. Wonderful. So that wasn't so bad. I dip out the window, right? I can't. Open it. It's sealed. Uh, machete. Machete that should open. Yeah. Shazam. And out I go into the night. To be continued. That's actually a pretty cool game. I don't know. They don't give you a whole lot of direction on, like, where to go and shit like that. It takes a lot of experimentation. I had to cut a couple times. Um, and yeah. I don't know what that noise was just now, either. But yeah, The Dark Inside Me. It looks like a pretty cool game. I don't know if I can sit down and, uh, work my way through a point and clicker. Because, yeah, I just get frustrated by points and, point and clicks a lot. Um, this was only one chapter, but yeah. It's an early, early alpha. It's gonna release on June 6th, from what I hear from the dev. So, he's, uh, trying to promote it just a little bit. So I was happy to help him do so. The artwork is really, really cool. Um, the story intrigues me. Most of the themes, you know, gore and violence and sex and yeah, don't let your kids play this game for sure. But if it's something that uh, appeals to you, the darker side of humanity, then feel free to go check it out. And yeah, if you want to see some more when the game comes to a full release, if I get it, then uh, let me know, and I'd be glad to do that for you guys as well. Anyways, friends, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. Uh, we've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon if you should enjoy any of those. Uh, help me out with a little bit of support, either morally or monetarily, and that would be just great. Once again, friends, this has been The Dark Inside Me. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I will see you in the next one, whatever that is. And until then, friends, bye bye Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.